Hi learner, I am Saranya, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Let's have an overview of the paper, Grammar and Semantics. The first unit of the paper comprises what is grammar, fundamental units of grammar, traditional definitions of grammar, functional labels and positional classes. So grammar has enormous definition which was given by linguistics. At the outset, it is very difficult to find out the exact definition for the term grammar. Every language has its own grammar. So it attempts to discover certain patterns in English language. So we have a doubt that which comes earlier, either grammar or language. Language does not contain a book which has enormous rules. So grammar is descriptive, it is not a prescriptive one. The thing which anyone can speak or write in acceptable sentence is also considered as a language. So grammar it always operates between phonology and semantics. So phonology is a study of sounds. Semantics is the study of meaning. Grammar has five fundamental units. The lowest unit of grammar is morpheum. Morpheum is the minimal unit of meaningful sound. Example, the word unhappy has two morpheum, that is un and happy. One or two morpheum combine to form word. Word is considered as the principal unit of lexicography. A group of words which combine to form a phrase. A phrase does not have subject and predicate. A group of words which combine to form is called class. A class has sentence and predicate. A class has main class and subordinate class. So main class which has sentence sense and also complete meaning. Subordinate class it always depends on the main class to give a complete meaning. Sentence is considered as the sense and it is also largest unit of the grammar. The words are categorized based on the function. The linguist has given categorized and function of grammar in a different way. The linguists like Plato and Aristotle, they have given their own categories. The linguist has categorized the words of grammar in a different forms. So generally it is classified into two class, open class and closed class. So the open class is helps to coin the new words. Example for open class is noun, adverb, adjective and so on. So closed class, it has only a fixed number of words. Example, pronoun, preposition and so on. Generally, the grammar and the words in a language is broadly divided into two, which is considered as the full words or empty words. Full words is otherwise known as form classes, which has high meaning value. It is open-ended word because every day we can add a new words to the full words. For example, noun, adverb, adjective and so on. So empty words is otherwise known as structural classes. It has only low meaning value. It is play the role of grammatical linkers. For example, preposition which link the to noun and determiners and so on. So then words have certain traditional definition. 